Hello everyone. Welcome to Decent Technology Private Limited again. So today I'm going to present a demo of cable billing software which is called Cabling Digital Software. So this solution is specifically for cable operators who run cable businesses. We created a solution for them using operator and customer app to reduce operational glitches. So guys, let's begin with the demo video. So this is the admin panel where admin can log in through username and password. After login, you can see here a dashboard where the user can manage or see all the operational data here. So let me introduce uh, all the options. So first you can see there is today collection. It means that the collection, uh, the total amount collected, uh, the monthly collection, the monthly dues, uh, total outstanding, total expire and online collection as well. Now next you can see here the expire customer option where you can see or manage the customer who are expiring the packages. Now in the right side you can see the total active customer, the inactive customer data. Now before using the software you just need to uh, first set up the master. If you can see there is lot of options like manage MSO, manage LCO, then language, then category, then genre, genre and then channel and then package, area and bank. So first we need to uh, set up the MSO which is, uh, which is basically uh, the service provider data. So here you can manage all the service provider information and you can also add service provider from this option. So you just need to uh, provide the company name, the billing uh, circle and the status. After for filling up all the information you just need to click on the save, cha save change and the data will be saved in this list. In this list you can also modify the any information and if you want you can also delete or remove any of the information. Now let's make, uh, move forward with the manage LCO. LCO means local cable operator. So here basically you can add a local cable operator from the option add LCO. You just need to provide all the data here, all the information and click on the save change. Then the data will be saved in this list. You can also modify and remove any of the information from here. Okay. So now let's move forward with the language. So here you can set any languages. You just need to click uh, on add language, then type a language like if I can, if I, uh, for example, if I provide a name with Gujarati, then you can see the status I'm choosing here is yes, then save change. Then the data will be saved in this list see here you can see the data is saved here now if you want you can also modify it and if you want you can also remove it like so now uh, let's move forward to the next which is category so here you can see the category list you can manage you can modify you can remove or you can also add category list from here so basically uh, there is a category named like Z, Star, Sony. So if you want uh, if you want to add a new category, then you just need to click on the add category, provide a name and select the status and save it. The, save uh, the data will be saved in this list. Now let's move forward with the genre. So here uh, basically you just need to uh, specify all the like specify any genre so for your it will be helpful for your customers to find the right uh, 
recommend for them so you just need to click on the add provide the name and the status the data will be saved in this list now let's uh, move forward with the channel name so here you basically you can add all the channel names and details the price of the channels the you can also provide the GST as well you can also upload any images so basically in this list you can modify and remove any information and if you want to add a new then you just need to click on the add channel provide the channel name provide the language uh, provide the category genre and the amount and GST and uh, the list of the rest of the information you just need to provide then select the save and the new data will be showing up, showing up in the list now next is we have is package so here basically you can set a package for your customers so in this list you can modify or remove any of the packages you can manage all of them from in this area and if you want to create a new package you just need to click on the package then you just select you need to select the provider you need to give a package name then channels what are the channels you want to add in this package then just give the package information and provide all the details like price and validity uh, etc and just need to save the information the information will be uh, the new package name or the new package info information you will be saved in this list so now let's move to the forward which is area so basically uh, you can add any area here that uh, in this specific areas you can provide your services so for adding a new area just need to click on the add area provide all the name and the pin code and the status and save it the data will be saved in this list next is we have bank so basically here you just need to add all your bank details so that your transaction would be easier for you uh, so you can track your transactions for each of your bank accounts so just uh, you just need to uh, you just need to provide the bank name opening balance active and type of account to add a new bank so you just need to provide all the information save it and the data will be saved in this list so thus you just need to set up the master first then we will move forward with the customer so in the customer option you can add customer you can manage customer and you can also search for your customer so let me show you how to add a customer need to provide all the customer information here then save it then save all the information and the customer new customer information will be showing up in the customer list where you can manage all your customer information from here and if you want you can also print barcode of your each of your customer like this So now I'm going to uh, move forward with the billing part. So uh, here you can, if you want to create a bill for your customer, one of your customer, then you just need to create, uh, click on the create bill option. Then provide the barcode number or the mobile number of your customer. Then automatically it will fetch all the data like customer code vc number stb number all that uh, it will be fetched automatically then you just need to provide the package name and the channel name then the all the amount will be automatically will be uh, showing up here so thus you can create the bill and you can also save and print of the mm, bill so in the option like bulk billing you can also create a bulk billing for your customers you can manage your bills for of your customers from this list so this is the list of uh, your customers bill 
you can also print your uh, you can also print of you can also print one of your customer bill from this so here you can see the bill now I'm going to move forward with the employee part so here basically you can add a uh, employee or username username so you just need to clear set up the type first you just need to provide the data here and then save it now you can also manage the user type here like uh, is it administrator accountant or uh, billing collection boy and if you want you can also add user type here from this section as well okay so now now I'm going to show you how to add an employee so you just need to click on the add employee part then provide all the details select the uh, user type is it accountant or collection boy or administrator so thus you can do it provide all the information and then click on the save change the data will be showing up in the employee list where you can manage or remove you can modify or you, you can also add employee from this list okay now I'm going to explain you about the expenses so for that you just need to set up the expenses so like uh, this is the expenses list you can see all the expenses uh, data or information you can see over here and for that if you want to add a new expenses then you just need to click on the add expenses provide all the details like pay date or pay type mm, pay bank you just need to provide the bank details as well then create it the data will be saved in the expenses list where you can manage all the data now I'm going to show you the report so you can also get report of your customer customer due reports expire customer reports and renew customer report package report collection report and GST report so I'm going to just uh, show you all of the options quickly so this is the customer report you can uh, select any date and submit it and you will get the, the data you can also print the data alright so next I'm going to show you the customer due report same as the customer report you can also get the printout as well I'm going to show you the expired customer report it's the same process you can get the report and also you can print out the record as well report uh, so uh, here in this uh, notification list you can check all the notification list you can add a notification as well for your customers you just need to provide all the data and click on the save the data will be saved in this option so now I'm going to show you the settings part so here basically you can add the NCF settings and SMS settings and head management and support so NCF settings so is it is NCF configurations list you can add NCC configuration from here and save the data it will be showing in this list then you can see the SMS settings so you can add a SMS new SMS settings as well from this list okay so now I'm going to show you the head management so basically here you can add all your hair accounts head from here 
you just need to click uh, provide the name of the account set and select the option and save the data will be sorry the data will be saved in this list now lastly the support part so here you can uh, set up your support uh, mobile number whatsapp number from this i can also manage it from here okay so this is our cable billing software cabling digital software so if you are a person who uh, is looking for this kind of software you can directly connect with us we have provided all the information in the description box and thanks for watching